kids just got back from Houston, Texas, and they brought back gold, so we are very proud of them. The Centerville Stacking Stars competed in the Junior Olympics. It was held in Houston, Texas. It goes on for 15 days because there are many sports that participate. But Centerville Elementary had some amazing sports stackers, and that's the cup stacking sport. So they competed this year at the Maryland State Tournament as well as at Nationals because Nationals was hosted in Towson this year, back in March. And we were very excited to have six students qualify for the Junior Olympics and have their parents willing to pay to take them and do this big trip. When we, um, some of the highlights of the kids was just uh, their first plane ride for some of them and getting to Houston, seeing a huge city staying at a fancy hotel, but then also meeting kids from all over the United States and the world. There were kids from Malaysia, from Canada, from Germany. But then our team, um, some of their doubles partners were from Colorado and Texas. So it was really exciting to see the kids interact with their peers, but from other states and countries. Um, just like at the real Olympics, they even brought souvenirs of like the Maryland flag to swap with each other and um, have a way to connect because it's modern times the mommies also shared Facebook information so that we will always be connected and look forward to seeing each other um, five years ago was the first time we had gone to the Olympics and the Junior Olympics and I was really excited to see a student that was a six-year-old relay kid then and now she was here as a ten-year-old still competing so that was a real highlight for myself I'm so proud of the kids they brought home gold in the 8U relay, which is the 8 and under, and we actually had a 7-year-old on that relay team. We also were homegrown. We All four of our relay members were Centerville kids, and we competed against teams that were mixed from different states, just trying to put together the best team to beat us, and we did it, so we were really excited. Our 6 and under group had one Centerville kid, Bree, my daughter, there, so she was mixed with some Texas kids, and they won their relay team as well. Individually, we had Caitlin Rath in the 11 and 12 year old girls group taking gold for the 333 event. Lexi Kern took gold all around for the seven year olds, and that was a gold in the cycle, also. And we had um, all the students made it to finals, all six. Kara Ringgold, a big highlight for her was it was her first year in the Cup Sacking Club. So when she went to nationals, she was going for the experience, but yet made top 10 and qualified for the Junior Olympics. So we're super proud of Kara. She was also part of that relay team with James and Shannon Rath. Uh, so how fun was this? It was very fun. <laughs> was it, was it nerve-wracking? Was it scary? No, because we've done this for three years now. Okay. How many other kids were there? Um, this is Junior Olympics. We had kids from all over. the whole country, right? Yeah. Which countries were there? Canada, and Malaysia, and the United States. Mm -hmm. Wow. Were our teams a certain size, or were you a big team, little team, little team, what? Uh, little. Little? Well, yeah. well there's all sorts of teams. So each medal you guys are wearing, that are dragging you <laughs> off, off the pads, means you you placed or won or did something in some event? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Is this the best Centerville's ever done? Yes. 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 Yeah. By how much? Um, by a lot, by yeah. like double digits. <laughs> okay. Um, right. who had a doubles partner that was from another state? So let's go down the list. Um, there's two girls not raising their hands. So Karen, Shannon, raise your hands. Okay, they were their own doubles team. Okay. And then each of our other partners had to pair up with someone from another state. So let's go down the list and hear where your doubles partner was from. Lexi? My doubles partner was named Haley. She was from Texas. Caitlin? My doubles partner's name was Holly, and she was from Mississippi. And Bree? My double partner was named Elizabeth, and she was from Texas. My and then Jean? My doubles partner's name was Darren, and he was from Colorado. How were they chosen? Your partner, your your non-team partner. It was just random. Pick. Really? No. Based on time. Oh, based oh, okay. Their uh, the kids don't know, but their coaches submit their average time, uh -huh. and then they're paired up with someone accordingly. Okay. But some other big highlights, Caitlin. Will you share what we were really excited about 
It was a first for our school. Um, I competed in, well, I got chosen to be the top 32 females in the world. Well, in the nation. And so then they had a special competition for just them. So that was their first top 32 person before. Wow. That's really exciting. Um, and then everyone competes in their age groups. Yep. So we had some age group winners. Um, our relay, will you stand up that you were the eight-year-old gold relay? Wow. So they were the fastest eight-year-olds. And we even had some non-eight-year-olds on our team. So we had some younger kids. We were also the only homegrown team. Um, the team that they beat had the best from four different states mixed Ooh. together. And we wanted to stay together and be all Centerville. And so that was a big highlight, that our own Centerville group was able to beat the best mixed together. That's so that amazing. was pretty awesome. How many of you from Maryland? Uh, Maryland was one of the top three states represented. So Maryland and who are the other two states? Texas, Texas because we were in Texas. Uh -huh. I don't remember the third state, but they, at the opening ceremonies, they recognized the top three attended. Um, the gold medalist six-year-old relay, Bree, you can stand up. <laughs> Bree was on the gold medal six-year-old relay, but because she's our only five-year-old that we took, she was paired up with three other children, and they were all from Texas. Okay. So, and they won gold medal for the six-year-old relay. So Bree, if she can stick with it, do you think you want to do this again? Then she'll still be in her six-year-old age group. So uh, we're really year. excited about yeah. next year for her break. Yeah. And Brie can sit down. And then some other big highlights. Caitlin, will you stand up? What age group were you competing in this year? 11-12. 11-12. And that's a very hard age group because that, um, what are the kind of like, what's the time you want to get in that age group? Uh, I'd want to get a nine on my cycle. So it's very, very fast. And you came in gold in one event, didn't you? Yes, I came in gold in the 333. So that was very awesome. Beating out to Team USA. Right, and then certain kids are Team USA members that travel with Cup oh, okay. And none of our kids have chosen, they take this as one of their activities. All of our kids play another activity. Is anybody a soccer player here? Uh, is anybody a piano player here? <laughs> and basketball. Is anybody a basketball player here? <laughs> so because our kids all play other sports, we don't do this year round. We just do it yeah. as a winter sport. You have a sport. season. Yeah. yeah. So it was exciting when we were beating the Team USA kids because they do it as a year round sport. A That's traveling the team. difference in us and them. Which of the events is the hardest? James? The cycle. Describe, the describe that. Um, because you have to um, stack up a lot and then stack down a lot. That's like up and down. That's the hardest? Is that everybody? Is that the hardest? I would think doubles is harder yeah. because you only get one hand. Yeah. And like if you mess up, then you have to communicate with your other doubles partner who's going to pick the cup back up and restack. And did you guys have, uh, with the, with the uh, uh, people from other teams, did you have time to practice with them? Yeah. 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 How much? Like... They had, we, had, they, we had a practice night. Oh, okay. It was a practice night and then preliminaries okay. a day and then uh, finals the next okay. day. Oh, and since we're talking about cycle, I didn't get to Lexi. So the reason we have a trophy this year, what event did you win, Lexi? Cycle. So for her, she was in the seven-year-old age group and we got first in cycle. And what time did you get? Do you remember your time? 13, 5, 4. Something like that. And her best before going in was a 16. And normally you beat people by like a hundredth of a second. Yeah, yeah. And the second place girl got a 15 something. Wow. So we were really excited. Wow. But Did this whole team just rocked. They just rocked. Yeah. All right, this is a really dumb question. How many times do you think you have done the whole stacking thing? How many individual times have you done it? Thousands. Over a thousand, yeah. Yeah, close to a thousand. I'm sure. Your arms get tired after a while. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. So what, you, what was the best part of the trip? What was, what was even something maybe that you just saw that you never seen before because you were in Texas? What was most exciting? We went to Galveston and um, got to go to the water park, and there was this um, slide that had, like, it was pitch black and only had, like, these little diamond lights. Oh, for light. Uh, the, um, was it really hot in Texas? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, human. Yeah. What other things did you visit while you were there? What did you do the first day? You kept us very busy. <laughs> oh, you did fly there. Yeah, that's oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Second day when I went to my conference. Oh, we went to uh, the International Space Center. Oh, yeah. wow. That was really cool. And we spent the whole day there. And then we did the children's museum there. Oh, yeah. That was super fun. <laughs> did you do it? Yeah, like yeah. You did what? Uh, we got to do a spy thing yeah. where we were like undercover agents and things. It was really cool. Wow. How long have you guys down there? Uh, eight days. Eight days? Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you just compete one day? What was the competition like? Uh, we competed one day, and then if we made it fast enough, then we would um, go the next day for finals. The top ten go to finals mm -hmm. in your age group, and then... And we have, and so we all go into pre preliminaries, happy that we're there, and trying to do our best, but knowing that we might not make it to finals. It might be a one-day event. So a lot of kids do finish their day there at prelims. So that's why they medal the top ten the next day, because it's a big deal just to make it to finals. Was this the mi uh, middle of the week or the end of the week or what? I was a Friday and Saturday competition. Okay. But there's the Junior Olympics runs 15 days because there's other sports represented. Okay. So there was field hockey, and so it's funny as we drove around Houston, you would see signs like pointing to where you go for different events. Yeah. So you guys met, so I heard from Ms. Stern that you guys uh, saw uh, Olympians who are now probably in Rio, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was that cool? Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. What did you, did you, did you torture some of the, some of the players? Who did you torture? Um, we got to meet rugby players, the girls rugby team, because they're in the Olympics for the first time. We got to meet a girl weightlifter and we a got lot to of meet girls rugby okay. players. Did you uh, did you have one player try the uh, try the cups? Yeah. Yes. How they did? They did pretty well. Mm -hmm. Her best on the three 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 was a five. And what's your best, Caitlin, on the three three three? Have you a gotten a one point two? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You think uh, cup stacking should be an Olympic sport? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. What are the highlights? Um, oh. the team gold. The individual. Team gold. Okay. We got team gold for the and, eight years. And is that points? How, how, how do the how do you determine that? Twenty-four point you... six. We, I have a I have a time. It was twenty-four point six seconds in order for all four of them to do their relay. Okay. Oh, all okay. the other teams also had to compete on the preliminary day. They were in the top four. So as the top four moved on to finals, we had to do it again and they went ahead and did their best ever on that final day, which is really hard to do if you think about it when you're in front of judges yeah. and you're trying to do your best. You do get really nervous, but these kids, we said we we're gonna do it as clean as we could, mm -hmm. and they, they rose to the challenge and did a fabulous job and wound up taking home gold. What do you predict for next year? Um, I think the club's gonna be even bigger now and better. <laughs> nice. uh, but what is most exciting is the friendships they make, the confidence they build, and the idea that if you keep working at something, you get better. And so these kids, when they came home, what happened at your house, Ms. Rath? So I thought we were going to put it away for a little yeah, right. bit. Yeah. And yesterday, as I'm doing all the laundry from the week, I hear clink, 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 clink. So and these kids realize that idea of practice, and that's just awesome. Endless practice. So Olympians, huh? Olympians of the future. Oh, very cool. Yep, they're right here in Centerville. Homegrown. I like that. My name is Jennifer Rath, and I became involved in this when my daughter was in first grade um, through the school program, which I found to be fabulous. And my twins were then invited when they were in pre-K, and they started to just practice at home, and I was asked to then help Miss Kern with some coaching. Um, so we did the first competition for the first year locally. They did very well, but we did not go to juniors uh, Olympics at that point. But the following year we did and just caught the bug and absolutely <laughs> love going to teach the kids about the country, to teach the kids about sportsmanship, to teach the kids about um, making new friends and really being able to stand in front of somebody and be judged is a life lesson that we really are proud of them that they're able to go in front of somebody be timed 
and walk away no matter how good or bad that they do. So I've been help. I was helping coach coach the kids while we were there. So good sportsmanship. Amazing sportsmanship. They cheer each other on, good or bad, um, and that's something we really work on with them. And that's something Team USA won't choose somebody for their team unless they have good sportsmanship. So Texas must have been just fantastic. Texas was amazing. I mean, to see teams from Malaysia and Canada and the United States and to see our little group from Centerville emerge as such great athletes and to have other people come and tell you, you know, oh, your child was so nice cheering my child on or it was really wonderful to meet you and the connections, you know, we're going to have from Colorado and Mississippi and all the other states um, and we're going to keep in touch with these people over the years. So you would recommend this for parents and kids, right? Absolutely. I think it's a great skill to learn for your brain. It's a right and left brain. It teaches sportsmanship. It teaches yourself how to be competitive against yourself, um, to go for your best time. And then there's also relays that teach you how to be part of a team. And then there's doubles that teach you only how to use one hand in communication. So it really accomplish, accomplishes so many things that sports to want to teach to, to kids these days. All right, now Hannah and I are going to do doubles. Are you up for the challenge? <laughs> get one hand this We're going to hold hands. We're going to hold hands. We're going to put our hand here, and I'm going to be your leader. Whoever's on the right is the leader. So I move one cup, and you just finish it. I move some, you grab the rest. You're going to put them in a row. Okay. Okay. One on top, and we're gonna close them up. Close them up. Yep, and then we touch. So we got 19. Let's see if we can beat it, okay? With okay. this middle step, can you pick up half of them? Okay. okay, now we're gonna sit them down in a row. Now you're gonna go up, so take that one, and put it up, and then take the last one. Okay. Let's practice that one again, because we're gonna get that good. Okay, so you've got two, and I've got three, so I'm gonna sit in the middle. Up, up. That was so much better. That's what we're gonna do for the. Time. Okay, so put it on top. We're gonna beat our time of 18. Ready? Up. Awesome, that's good, that's good. Okay, up. This is way better. Down, 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 and touch the timer. 11! Oh, that was awesome! Wow. Way better. Wow. So we got way better. Yeah. All the kids were superstars and we're so proud of them. But more importantly, the club in general is a way for the kids in our community to learn to practice. And that's even when something's hard, the more you practice, the better you get. The whole club focuses on personal best. And so instead of telling each other, I just got a 13, we say, I just got my new PB. And we high five and celebrate. Uh, most students start the year not even knowing how to do the cycle. And then they're super excited when they can do it in under one minute. That's our first goal. By the end, their parents are amazed when they're doing 30-second cycles. But then we're even more amazed when they go to competition and they're getting nine-second cycles like Caitlin. So um, it's a learning process, but hopefully teaching good character in the, along the way. So it was a great experience. What about next year? Next year, I see Olympics in our future. It is Detroit, Michigan. Um, so it's a whole new place to learn about if we can qualify. But we will certainly start with our simple practices in the morning. The kids come an hour before school and practice, and that's how we get there. We learn that a little fun and a lot of practice hopefully will give us great results.